Hi, Capricorn friends. Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising. Welcome back. This is a reading focusing on you, your lives, your situations, your energy. We're focusing our energy on September 24th through October 1st of 2017. This is a general life reading. If you want to check out the extended love reading, you can find that at my Vimeo channel. A little bonus reading for you. Thank you for that tiny donation. And it helps to keep me in incense and candles, cards, all of those little basics that I need. And so I do appreciate it very, very much. So the incense wants to get in my face. I'm hearing the song, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes. Don't know why. Maybe that song has some uh, resonance for some of you. Capricorn. Okay, if you decide you want a reading meant just for you, you know how to do it. Contact information is here. Let me know what you want through email or the contact form at my website, and I'll get back to you with the invoicing. Now, <clears throat> let's get a little more focused here. I'm asking Spirit to direct me. Where does he want me to start? We're going to start here. This is going to be our first three cards. This is the past. The Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Sun. Okay, so. Doubts. Uh, stagnation. Where money is concerned. Maybe the home. The things that you need to function in your home. Maybe there's some sort of lack. Maybe there's some kind of um, failure on your part, business failure. But I think in the past, uh, my Capricorns have had a change in focus, a new direction, something that they're actually more suited for. And it feels like uh, that is really the key to their success, happiness, is whatever this thing is that is new, that you're being brought to do, probably because it's your destiny. It's the career that you were destined to do. Uh, the night talks about a very young delivery, a very young movement, if you will, with that financial system, a uh, situation, but that uh, is in the past. And a system, what do I want to do with the word system? You threw it out of my mouth and now you've got to tell me what I'm supposed to do with it. System, systems, is it systematics? Things, <clears throat> Think. are you changing things around your career path, around your business, around you, your dealings with money? that are very just systematic things. Are you changing the structures, your communication systems, your um, uh, um, exposure, the way you expose yourself, the way you expose your business? Uh, it feels like you're working on something uh, that is more technical than anything else because that word system came out and I don't know why it's there. Whatever the reason that word is there, it means that you're changing things up and you're changing things up to better the prognosis of the business, of your career, to better the results. Now, I want three cards on this because I'm, I'm <clears throat> kind of, all right. So we've got the Seven of Swords. Now, we know that Seven of Swords can talk about competition. So, if we're talking about Capricorn and we're talking about your business, which I really think more than anything here, Capricorn really has their nose to the grindstone about something connected with business. It also brings in the competitive nature of what it is that you're doing. Who are you fighting with to get ahead? Who do you have to push past to get that element of success. I think things that you've tried in the past did not pan out correctly, but you're moving slowly, 
slowly, mind you, and steadily towards the goal. And the goal is happiness. It's fulfillment. It's the bright home. And I think that part of this journey here is how to defeat the competition. However that speaks to you, whatever that means to you, whatever you struggle with, to get to that point of happiness is really what I think you have focused on in the past. The Three of Swords, you know, and that is that disappointing element of defeat. It's saying, sure, you may have had success in the past, but now you're kind of feeling like there's a disappointment. And I really think that is almost connected to the competition. And now we have the King of Wands, which is exactly the energy that we need here. The King of Wands says that you're going to take action. Action is at the ready for you. You have faced the competition and you've faced whatever detriment the competition brings your way. And now there's a new focus and the new focus is to actually move through that energy to take all of that strength all of that power all of that knowing from the past from the disappointments from the things that didn't pan out didn't work out for you all of those sorrows are now part of the action that you take in order to reach the sun, which is the achievement. We have the doctor, we have the young woman, and we have haughtiness or ego. Um, what I, I usually get, number one, from the peacock is a situation that's been difficult to change. Maybe ego has been wrapped up in it. Pride, maybe, has been part of the situation not changing. But I think there's a new way of approaching whatever it is that has been ailing this business, whatever has been ailing your career path, is really the new start. It's the new beginning. It's the slow-moving forward yes but the action to take action in whatever it is that needs to change in new ways uh if you've had failures maybe some of that is trapped in ego maybe some of that is trapped in pride uh but that's changing the young woman she changes her future for the better um, she, when she takes the chance to change, everything changes for her. And so I think there's a, a chance or an energy that healing the situation is really going to be very, um, critical as you start this new chapter. Now, Capricorn, let's see. How am I going to take the next cards? I'm going to go in this way. And I want these three. These one, two, three, right here. The Four of Swords. The Ten of Cups. And the King of Swords. So clearly, clearly the vision here is happiness, joy, success in the home, success you can share with family, with friends, the clarity that finally, finally, maybe the path in front of Capricorn is clear. I don't see any clouded vision in front of you. I see here, though, where the fear and the doubt and the
complicated energy of the failure with Capricorn here. With the Four of Swords, that's the letting go or the pulling back or retrieving. It's the time of rest after the contemplation or the time of rest that comes with the contemplation. So I think currently, Capricorn, you may be thinking about past failures. And maybe there haven't been very many successes. And so there's a lingering kind of agonizing, almost torturous kind of heaviness around the failure, around the feeling that you didn't do right by your family. The family really... I don't know why that I had to, to, to had that message for someone and I don't know why. It's wrapped up in this kind of heartbreak where it feels like the effects of a failure, the effects of a failed business sort of brought around this kind of widespread hurt. Kind of maybe affected more than one family. As if you were in business and the doors closed and some families got, got hurt at the foundation. That's only one scenario. But if that rings a bell to you, if you were involved in that kind of a situation where you were working for someone, the end just came kind of suddenly, I think. And the re-examination of your life is here right now. The card of repose is that break. So maybe you are finding yourself unemployed right now. <clears throat> or considering something new, something different, something that will bring happiness back into the home. Maybe finances have been bad uh, since a change is occurring around you. But I think what we're feeling here is moving forward after failure. After a business failure. We have to look at the situation now as not that we've had a failure, but how do we look towards success? How do we achieve success? And we need clarity of judgment in order to do that. I'm going to take some bumblebees on this. I especially want to know who the King of Swords is and what he's doing here. Okay. Got the Nine of Pentacles. Four of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. Well, you know what? I think for some of you, you're looking for outside help. That's what the King of Swords really brings here. He brings the clarity that everything is going to be fine. If you are especially, if you are single, walking this journey... That's what the Nine of Pentacles here, or the Nine of Diamonds, represents for you. It's that solo journey. And if you are having failures, issues with a failed business, with money that seems to be progressing at a slower rate than you would like, that support is there. There will be an offer from a very loving, caring kind of energy, maybe even a mother, a father, a spouse, someone who is nurturing you along this path of what feels like independence. Now, if you're married, you may be exploring a business of your own. And so far, maybe the money is taking its time coming in. That part may be a little bit slow to come through. The support system is who the King of Swords brings. 
He's the clarity that everything is really, really going to be okay. I think he brings that energy of protection that you shouldn't fear for the future because someone here has your back. Um, through this walk towards independent, uh, independent um, that independent journey comes with an offer and some support and love and nurturing. Right, whatever it is that you're doing, we have the merchant, we have the sweetheart, and we have constancy. This person who you've got in your corner, working with you, wanting your well-being, expecting only the best for you, that is the support system I'm speaking of. It comes through on the sweetheart here, which talks about that emotional tie you to your support system. The support system is there. It is solid. It's supportive. It, 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 it has constancy, which means it's resilient. It can, it's the type of support system that will last a lifetime. And the merchant tells us that this person is willing to work their fingers to the bone for you. Talks about devotion a partner, a family member who only has your best interests at heart, Capricorn. And this person shows a very strong offer of assistance, support, love, and nurturing. They feel very much to be a bigger part of whatever it is you're going through. To me, they're almost the essential element that may be bringing you through to a better conclusion. Now we have <laughs> Tee the Knight of Cups, uh, the Seven of Cups. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I don't know if that's bad, though. The Ace of Cups, of course, that isn't bad. So this person, whoever they are, this support system uh, coming through uh, for you, Capricorn, whoever this is talking to, you know who the support system is. Uh, they are almost um, someone who you are either emotionally in love with, have that dedicated kind of emotion for. The cup of love here with the ace, that's the overflowing love, but... There's the confusion, the Seven of Cups. So what about the situation that's confusing you? Uh, I see money, number one. I see an exchange of money going on between you and this person. That can tell me that that exchange is happening between two people that already have an arrangement, such as an ex-husband, the father of children, an ex-partner, someone who you've done business with even. So we know that the future is connected to this love partnership. He is your support system. He's the one that's helping you find the journey to wellness. That's what's at the very heart of this, is that journey to wellness. Now I want to get some bumblebees on this. I know why the Ace of Cups is here. We all do. The Knight of Cups sort of brings the clarity, the knowing, the message, the urgency that someone has your best interests at heart. How are you going to react? How are you going to accept? Are you going to accept all of their generosity with open arms? The Seven of Cups tells me maybe there's a little bit of guilt. Maybe there's some codependency on this relationship that keeps you emotionally tied to them. I do see that above all, the friendship and the support is the most important, essentially, uh, essentially, essential, essentially, it, it's the most important part of this <laughs> for you, Capricorn. Okay, so I'm, I'm tripping over my words here. 
we want this one too. Okay. There we go. The Three of Cups. The coming together, bringing together those energies to create one, one unit. Maybe it's family and friends. It's all of that kind of cooperative energy coming together to be loving, to be supportive. I don't see this as the reverse. I don't see this as gossiping. I don't see this as anything but the pure act of love to come together as a support system for my Capricorns. The Ace of Wa Eight of Wands. Now, we know the Eight of Wands. That is a lightning fast changes coming your way. Maybe even love. And we're going to pick up on this over at my Vimeo channel because I'm going to say that maybe, just maybe, my Capricorn friends may be looking at a love situation coming your way. The two of wands. Those two energies. Again, with the three of cups, the joining together, the celebration, the camaraderie, that things are working out in your favor is future. But man, it is deep. And it happens fast. And there's satisfaction. And there's the planting of something new. The plans being forged together to bring forward something really new for you. Something that is big in growth. And tremendously energetic. It has life and action and focus. But more than anything, it's the promise. It's the promise of a future that has growth. Okay, I want three more clarity for my Capricorn friends. You guys are taking your time. Okay. One more. Oh, I got four again. All right, what did I get? Okay. Now we have a journey here. I don't know if this snuck into the, into the throw because I've been trying to only get three. But we have a fourth here. So you may have to consider the fact that um, whatever it is that you're manifesting for yourself here, Capricorn, there may be some travel involved in whatever this is. We also have the consolation. That's the reward. Those are the benefits for hard work. So whatever it is that you were, you're needing time for growth, that's what this really is. This is about not being impatient and needing time for growth because there's a sense of wellness around your career path and around a new development where love is concerned from someone who I really think is already being of support in your life. We also have the butterfly. That's freedom. That's being breezy with life. Just going with the flow. Letting the, 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 the energies just pick you up and carry you away. And then we have the card of hope. And so I think you are hoping for care and ease and clarity of judgment and freedom to do whatever it is that you're hoping to do with your future. It all comes through as a consolation, as a prize from the universe for maybe hard work, maybe past injury, past wounds, past hurts that you've had to protect yourself from. For Capricorn, it feels like life is starting to open up for you guys in more ways than one with the satisfying uh, future where your career and well-being and home and family and structure is concerned and also love. There's something here coming through for Capricorn that maybe you just cannot put a finger on yet. Maybe you just don't know what the future holds here. 
Maybe you don't know what the future holds here. But there's something new. Something new. And it's connected to joy. It's connected to growth. But it, it hits you quick. It comes on so fast and so unexpectedly. Now, I think that's all I'm going to give you right now. We're running long. I'm going to continue with your love reading over at my Vimeo channel. That's where I should be now. But we're going to take our future love energy coming through. And we're going to move it over to the future where love is concerned. And that video you can find at my Vimeo channel. Again, if you want me for a private reading, reach out to me. You know how to do it. And until next week, it's only a week. If this didn't resonate with you, check your other signs. Uh, if you don't know how to get your uh, moon, your rising sign, and this is your sun sign, Google birth chart information. It will take you to a wonderland of uh, natal birth charts and different ways of doing them. Vedic astrology, Western astrology. It's all a wonderful place to go. Reach out for that information if you want. And until next time, guys, you know, I have great love for Capricorn. I am one of you. And we're going to go talk about our love lives right about, oh, about five minutes from now and you can catch it there. And until then, take care, Capricorn, till next week. Be well and peace.